Man, my friends, immediate annuities look awful attractive right now. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. Man, I'm trying to think when we last saw the uh, annuities look this good. Man, I don't remember. Not at least, I mean, man, I, I don't recall. At least for the last 15 years, immediate annuities looking this good. Um, anyway, I would, uh, if you're having a hard time sleeping at night, I would encourage you to consider an immediate annuity, 100%. Um, I want to go to a, a comment my man Sylvan said here. Hold on a second. So this is a video I posted earlier today. Don't make this common retirement mistake. And the, essentially the thing is don't, you're not spending enough money is what it is. Uh, spend more. Spend more. You know, And I always say this. I think Devin took this from me, Devin Carroll. And Rat Fink. I like Devin Carroll. I'm goofing. But uh, don't fly coach so your kids can fly first class. I saw that was posted on Devin's one of his videos said, that's my language, that's my word, that's that's my saying. Of course, I got that from somebody else at USA many, many moons ago. Uh, but anyway, but here's my man Sylvan. So, anyway, wait, wait, let me start and go back. So the point being is, I work, I don't worry. In my experience, a lot of retirees don't spend nearly enough, especially on the front end of retirement, because they worried about running out of money. I, I just wish they would not do that. Just go ahead. And, and I gave an example of a lady who was worried, uh, her husband was worried if she bought this new pair of shoes, if they're going to run out of money. It, anyway, I said, buy the freaking shoes. Anyway, so my, but check this out. This guy's been around for a long, long time. Big fan. Um, I suppose, and I think Sylvan and I, we don't agree on eye to eye and everything. That's okay. How dare I? Um, I suppose this is where the regular income psychology comes in. Easier to spend income than assets. Exactly. Easier to spend income than assets. For those without a pension, that would be old buddy Josh. Do we take the bite? Do we bite the bullet and do it in annuity? No, we don't need a charitable remainder trust. Uh, give it away for our no, no, no. Take the bullet and bite the annuity. And I said, man, that's a great, great observation because uh, what's going on here is we know that people have a harder time spending principal down. They like the idea. They love the idea of spending dividends, capital gains, and interest income. They do not love the idea of actually selling assets to live on and as such and they'll they'll this is another reason why people spend less as they get older because they spend what their income is man. That, there's so much evidence of this is mind-boggling so if you have a million bucks but your income is forty thousand dollars from social security and interest you're gonna spend forty thousand bucks you're very very hesitant to spend fifty thousand because fifty thousand would mean you have to take ten from your principal people just don't like that so anyway i said okay let's take a look at immediateannuities.com and I did uh, husband and wife. How dare I, husband and wife? Because, um, you know, they, we have 20, 20 different husbands and wives now in one marriage. It's crazy. Put the alligator in there if we want. Hell's bells. We're fur lovers or fur. fur. See, the world's gone nuts. And that's okay. We're not part of it. That world is nuts. You and I are not. Anyway, so I did a husband. I think he was 62. How old was this guy? He was born in 1957. 65. So I did a husband, 65. A wife is 61. So the husband was born 57. Wife is born in uh, um, 61. All right. So the, the wife is 61. The husband is 65. That's me and Charlotte 13 years from now. We got $250,000 to invest. Uh, where did I put the thing? It was $250,000, which I started with. Um, we got life, life in 10 year period certain, life in 20 year period certain. All right. These are the only ones we want here. Basically, life in 20 year period certain. I'm actually going to go down here for just a second, though, and talk about that. All right, so life in 20-year period certain. All right, so what does that mean? That means as long as either of I are breathing, because it's for life, we'll get that annuity payment, either me or Charlotte. We could be breathing for 50 million years, like Noah, and we still get that payment. We're not going to have any income uh, or adjustments for inflation, but we're still going to get that payment. Life and period certain, which means if our life is go, if we both die before the 20 years, it's, they're guaranteed to pay at least 20 years. That is the minimum. 20 years period certain is the minimum that they will pay 1268 I hope that makes sense. If we live 30 years, they're going to pay 30. If we live 15 years, they'll still pay 20. All right. Now, again, I could die tomorrow. Charlotte lives a million years. They'll still pay a million years. I could die tomorrow. Charlotte dies in five years. They'll still pay the heirs, my kids, and I'm pointing where they are sitting in the kitchen right now, uh, for the, nether, the rest of the 20 year period certain. That's how that works. So we're going to get 1200 bucks a month on $250,000. All right, so what we do is we take that $1,200 a month, we times that by 12, we divide by 250. Let me just do it here so you can see. 1200 
times 12. That's how much we're going to get on an annual basis. Divide that by the 250 we put in. Uh, that's going to give us about a 6%. It's actually, uh, it's actually 6 percent Let me just do the real number. 1268. Because once it hits that 6%, it begins to look pretty attractive to me. There you go. 6.08%, which is pretty doggone good for a guy who's only 65 and a surviving spouse who's only 61. Ooh, I'm like, man, that's that's pretty attractive. So now we're guaranteed 1200 bucks a month. Now, I, the only reason I did 65 is because Josh would be um, at Medicare. You got to be careful for Obamacare. I get all that. But I'm just using this for example. That looks pretty good to me, man. 1268 a month. 6% distribution yield. That's not an interest rate, it's a distribution yield. How much are you getting from the amount you put in? It's over 6%. That always begins to look attractive to me. Um, now, we're guaranteed to get 20 years at 1268. Hold on a second. Let me uh, knucklehead in. We're guaranteed to, oh, thanks. Oh, there you go. Thanks, Dan. We're guaranteed to get 20 years of 1268. So we take our Troy C calculator. 20 years times it'd be 240 payments at 1268 we're gonna get uh, a guaranteed minimum we'll make fifty four thousand dollars on this on this account because we put 250 in we're guaranteed to get at least 304 that's pretty good so let's uh you don't know, look the 10-year period certain gives you nine bucks extra don't do that so we don't want that now uh, we don't want just life it, it, it doesn't make sense not to do it so basically if you're doing this with your spouse, always do life in 20 year period certain. If you're watching this five years from now, I don't know what the, the rates are five years from now. I'm just saying right now, I've yet to find any reason not to do life in 20 year period certain. I don't understand. Now check this out. What if we just did a 15 year period certain? Now I'll get into what this means here in just a second. It's 1897. That'll pay us an extra uh, about 600, yeah, about 630 bucks a month. 1897. 150 180 payments now, ooh, man. now we're getting 341,000 we're gonna make $90,000 yeah look at that 1897 we're gonna make $90,000 of income on that 250 with no risk other than the ability of the insurance company to go bank um, uh, the, to stay solvent 1897 times 12 2267 divide that by 250. Now there's a difference here. That's a 9.1 man. That's pretty good. Now the difference here is is I hope it's obvious. After 15 years, even if I'm alive or Charles alive, if either of us are alive, it stops. So we're gonna get six. Let's see. 1268 versus 1897. 1897. Bobby, you are such a knucklehead. 1268. We're going to get $629 more every month. Times that by, what do you say, 180. We'll make 113000 more of income. For those 15 years i'll be 80 years old by then charlotte would be 76. now look I'm, this is i'm only 52 now i'm not doing this man i'll be so then you're like okay that's 118,000 we did not have to draw from something else that we could allow to theoretically grow oh, man that looks attractive man i'm telling you so 15 years from now because we saved six hundred twenty nine dollars a month well we got six hundred twenty nine dollars a month more in which to spend well, that's six hundred twenty nine dollars a month less we have to take out from the portfolio if that makes sense which means we can allow that money to c continue to accumulate <sighs> i tell you man that that looks pretty attractive to me i can't i mean i'm gonna have to do a monte carlo on that and then we can, uh, and then we can allow the the market markets to go up and down more because we don't have to worry about. It. We got six hundred twenty nine dollars less. We have to pull from the rest of the portfolio. I just want. All right, I'm gonna actually put my year of birth in nineteen seventy. Let's 
Bashar in 1974. Let's see, January high, baby. Let's see, January. All right, let me go back here. Hold on a second. Let me call. All right, so I'm 52 now. If I did life in 10 year period, sir, and I get 1119 bucks a month. Well, it'll be 13,000 a year divided by 250. That's still 5.3%. Damn, I'm only 52. My wife's 40, 48. Whoa. So now if I did a 10 year period certain, it'd be, it'd be empty in 10 years. So 250,000. Two, 250,000, 2,500, 40 times 12. That's 30,000 a year on 250,000 bucks. Man, so I'd be 62 years old. Yes, I have 250,000 less in my portfolio, I grant you. And 250,000 less of opportunity to grow, I grant you that too. But from an income perspective, I mean, that's, I mean, look, there's a lot of this is return of principal. Let's see how much is return of principal versus how much of this is interest. And that's for 10 years, 120. It's still 55,000 bucks, man. Guaranteed. Whoa. Let's just do the five year. 45, 92 times 60. See, even that's 25,000. 25,000 on, uh, I mean, again, it's not much, I grant you, but man, let's do more. Let's do it. 15 year period certain age. Did I already do that? 1897. I don't think I did that. 1897. Because that would get me to Social Security. It's 12. Divide by 250. Ah, uh, yeah, look at that. I don't know, man. That seems pretty good to me. So uh, you're, I'll get, I'll cover you to hit Social Security. Yeah, you got two hundred fifty thousand less in your portfolio. You don't have as much liquidity. Um, I, off top of the head, I can't remember the tax consequences. See, I just can't remember. You have to, in terms of uh, pre fifty nine and a half. Someone emailed me this. I think it was Harry. Did Harry? I can't remember. They said you can't do it. Pre-59 and a half, it can't be for life. It has to be for period certain, I think. You have to look into that more and let me know. I just can't remember. I don't think I've ever seen annuities look this good. Let's see what the interest rates were. Hold on a second. All right, so here's USA. Uh, we're putting me at 65 and Charlotte at 61. We're putting 250000 in. We're going to get 1273 a month. 1273 a month. 15 year. Was it 20? I can't remember what it did. Uh, 15. What did I do here? 15 year, 20 year guaranteed. All right, so we got, yeah, right there. That's a 20 year life certain, uh, 20 year uh, joint life survivor annuity. Uh, that means it covers both of us as long as either of us are alive or 20 years, whichever is longer. As we divide that by 250. That's pretty good, man. I, I don't think I, I don't remember ever seeing annuities this good. Right, so let's uh, make adjustments. Let's just go there. We're gonna go here. Let's say 15 year guarantee. Hope they kept my yeah you see. So we're just gonna do a 15 year guarantee. They're gonna pay. I don't want life to anything. I don't want life. I just want, no, okay, whatever. I'm not going to, anyway, hold on a second. The 10 year treasury started the year off at 1.6. Now we're at four. I think I saw, hold on a second. Yeah, four. All right, let's go down to 2000. Let's go to 2015. Uh, 17, we'll just try 17. 2.45. Oh, can I do monthly, say monthly on here? 2.45. 
stayed about two and a half or so. Okay, gotcha. Go 2018. I think that's when Trump was griping because it did towards a Q4 2018. The markets fell and at two and a half, and I think it went to three to three and a half or so. Yeah, three, three, two. It's still on my eyes, man. So let's go down to. I don't even think it's. 2015? I don't think so. I don't think the bonds got killed in 2015. Two and the eighth bit. Look at that. Look at that. When's the last time they were really raising? I, I, okay, we're going to go down to. I'm going to go down to 2007. Pretty much routinely four percent in two thousand and seven, four and a half. I mean, over four and five. Even hit five, five. Yeah. Huh. Then it started dropping. Isn't that weird? So why would the? Isn't that interesting? It's almost like the market knew in advance of anyone else. So here is a ten-year Treasury at five point two three in June of two thousand seven. That's the beginning of the real estate. In 2006, when the real estate really started falling off a cliff, but still. <laughs> Finn, June of 2007, 5.26. They weren't lowering. They weren't <laughs> lowering the Fed, that is. Come here, baby. But look, you can see now we're at 4.6. And here's when the market started falling off a cliff, right here. We're still at 4.5. Went up. And it's, you know. People starting to buy four and a quarter, four point one eighth, four. Look at that! Oh man, interesting. Let's go two thousand and five. Well, it's still four and a quarter. I really got above five. Yeah, look at that. Four and a half. 4.6. One more. I'm going to go to 2005. Let's go. Did I, what did I just do? 2000? No, I can't remember. Fan, so, come here. Fours. I see fours everywhere. I saw 4.9. Fours everywhere. There's five. Five. Still right around the four to five handle. All right, let's go to uh, 99. Because they were raising in 99, the Fed that way was. Should be around 6, 7. Oh, look. Five, five, five and a quarter, five and a quarter, five, five and a quarter, five and a half, five point eight. There you go. Now we're starting to, there we go, six. All right. Um, I don't, I don't recall income annuities being this good. In my whole career, I don't think they've ever been this attractive to me. Now you got you got to go in there, and know what you're looking at. You know, don't just listen to your old buddy Josh. But I'm like, man, if you could have locked in a rate in 2007, even in 2008, in the first gasp of the market collapse, you know, and you get locked in before the the Fed started lowering like crazy, you would have been a happy camper. All right, something to think about. Love to hear your thoughts. We'll see you.